Hey guys, Tim here with another uh, commentary of my thoughts video. It is currently 1.54 a.m. here in Florida, but I still wanted to give my opinion on the subject because this subject seems to have uh, kind of a resurgence in recent days due to what I'm about to show you. Uh, and the YouTuber who we're going to be talking about is Jacksepticeye, the Jacksepticeye, which I just want to start off by saying that I didn't get my first phone until 2013. And when I did, I remember the first video I saw was the Turbo Dismount series. And oh my god. Like, you guys have no idea. I just want to start off by saying that he is literally one of the best YouTubers of all time. Despite me being on the platform going on about a decade now, he is always consistently ranked, in my opinion, as my favorite YouTuber of all time. He is the whole package. Caring guy, knows when to get serious, very chill, but still knows how to make you laugh and have a good time seriously this guy is a riot and i freaking love him and um it has been not a good time for him um of course as many of you would know on january 27 2021 um his father passed away and of course uh, most of us know that the loss of a loved one is one of the most incomprehensible things of all time I myself uh, knowing this all too well having lost both a grandfather and my father uh, due to cancer so I definitely know what the mindset is like for him to be in a state where you know lost a loved one and uh, oh god let me uh, let me mute discord here so I don't get any more interruptions but yeah, it, it definitely has been a very tumultuous time for him. And you know, it's during this time, it made me really happy to see that out of all the happiness that Jack has given us, it's very nice that the community decided to pay him back. And the community came in full force with the, you know, the condolences and it was freaking great. However, though, of course, unfortunately, and I shouldn't even have to say this, but this is the internet. So, of course, there were going to be some people out there that were going to take advantage of the situation and were going to use his dad death to basically get ahead when they really shouldn't be doing that. And, you know, right now I'm playing some clips of just some people taking advantage of this. You have this one guy, I think he's pulling a prank where he's calling Jacksepticeye's dad at 3 a.m. or something. And then you got another one here where this person creates like some of this type of anime animation thing, making fun of his dad's death. It's like they just don't seem to stop. And the question on my mind is, what is the mental process for you to go to to make you think that this is okay? Like I just, I have to, oops. I just have to ask, what is the mental process to make you go think that this is acceptable behavior like respect man come on respect there is a time and a place okay treat people the way that you want to be treated if your family member passed away you wouldn't want somebody coming to the funeral home saying oh he owed me twelve dollars no that's not how it works and i just don't know what to say it's like and he it got it got so bad to the point where he actually had to address it in his video, and I'm gonna play the clip right now. Here's the clip. Um, to any of you who posted memes about it and posted uh, negative stuff about it, you are absolute scum, and I fucking hate you because you made something that was hard, so much harder to go through. Um, and being a person of influence online, it's sort of hard to avoid a lot of things. Um, and it's hard to go through something like this knowing that so many people are around and so many people know who you are and so many people want information and so many prying eyes on things. But thankfully, most people were very kind and very sincere and genuine about it. So thank you. So, yeah. Um, again, uh, if by some random chance Jack is watching this video, I want to give my official condolences. Man, life is uh, it's not easy. And this is definitely one of those times where it is not easy. But, you know, again, this man has brought so much happiness to my life, man. Like, I think my favorite series from him 
definitely has to be the Turbo Dismount Station because it was the one I grew up on. And I'm one of those people that grew up on YouTube watching people like PewDiePie, uh, Markiplier, uh, Jack, and um, especially going into the FNAF era, Daco, 8-Bit Ryan, gaming, and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, these people who make these Jacksepticeye troll videos, they definitely have to take a long look at the person in the mirror. You know what I mean? And they really got to sit themselves down and think, okay, what am I doing? What the hell am I doing? <sighs> All right. So, yeah, that was just my two thoughts on the matter. Um, it just, you know, it shouldn't have to, like, I feel like, is it me or I feel like videos like this shouldn't exist? Like, I feel like I shouldn't have to explain that if someone's dad passed away, you should be respectful. I feel like that should be automatic. Like, that's just common sense. Common courtesy. Like, am I am I wrong for thinking that these videos shouldn't exist? Because you shouldn't have to explain to people this. Come on, guys. We are better than this. Every time something bad has happened on the internet, Jack has always been there for us to put us in the right frame of mind. And now that he's in this situation, it's time for us to pay him back. I'm being very serious. <sighs> well, guys, that was it for this video. Again, Sean, I give my deepest condolences, man. Life is, life is complicated. And I'm not even joking when I say that it's been about six to seven years since my dad left me and I'm still trying to figure stuff out. But, you know, it's thanks to people like Jack that makes it a little bit less confusing. Let's just say that. But, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.